Hi there, I'm Dave Carger. Tonight on TCM, we're taking a look at movies set against the backdrop of Niagara Falls. And first up, we're traveling to the falls for a 1953 thriller from 20th Century Fox. Marilyn Monroe and Joseph Cotton co-star in Niagara. Cotton plays a depressed veteran who's visiting the falls with his beautiful young wife, played by Marilyn Monroe. He's constantly jealous of the attention that she attracts from other people, especially men. And when his suspicions of her infidelity prove to be justified, he begins to plot a deadly revenge. The setting in this film is not at all the idyllic honeymoon destination that Niagara Falls is famous for being. And when the movie premiered in 1953, a representative to the Ontario legislature responded angrily, saying that the film did the honeymoon capital nothing but harm. Instead of a movie to show our school children, he said, they give us murder and suicide and seamy lives. In other words, everything you want in a movie. The film may not have been great publicity for Niagara Falls, but it turned out to be an important vehicle for Marilyn Monroe's career. Her performance, which also marked her first appearance on screen in Technicolor, promoted her to a new level of superstardom. And within the year, she went on to appear in some of her most iconic starring roles in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and How to Marry a Millionaire. Here she is in 1953, also with Joseph Cotton, Gene Peters, and Max Showalter, who's credited here as Casey Adams in Niagara. Niagara was filmed in part on location on the Canadian side of the falls, and ironically, Joseph Cotton's hotel room was the place where the cast and crew gathered to unwind and socialize. Unlike his character in the film, Cotton was friendly with everyone in the production, and he hosted pre-dinner drinks in his room every evening. Also, unlike his character, he got along very well with Marilyn Monroe and enjoyed working with her on this film. The film's director, Henry Hathaway, who wasn't known for his tact toward actors, also loved working with Monroe and later referred to her as the best natural actress I ever directed. Meanwhile, the other husband in the movie, Max Showalter, went on to appear on the big and small screens for 30 more years, culminating with his final role as Molly Ringwald's loudmouth grandfather in one of my favorite comedies from the 80s, 16 Candles. Coming up, Victor Matur stars as a circus owner who stages a daring stunt at Niagara Falls in a drama from 1959.